you know, one of the things that I've heard over and over again is that a woman should never do wifely, wife duties or wifely things for a man until they become a wife. That until such time, all those wife activities, you keep away from that man. You don't let him see those. You don't do those for him until you become a wife. Okay. Well, let's be fair. Fellas, do not be a husband to a woman until she becomes your wife. Until you are her husband, don't pay any of her bills. Until you are a husband, don't become stepdaddy. Until you are her husband, don't go into her home fixing shit. Don't worry about her car until you are her husband. Don't be there to provide nor to protect her until you are her husband. Even the small things, walking down the street, put her ass on the side of the road where the cars are. Don't do any of those things. Don't be chivalrous. Don't do anything that a husband would do until you become a husband. Since we want to, you know, do that. Since that's the way that we're going to determine whether or not we're going to be husband and wife. Those are the metrics. But let me ask y'all a question. Serious question. How in the hell would a man know if you are wife material? If he never sees anything wife oriented from you? Just as how would a woman know if a man is husband material if she never sees any husband things? Now, if the woman's bar is only such that she says that, hey, well, if he has his own house, he has his own cars, he's paying his own bills, he's traveling, he can pay for himself to go out to an expensive restaurant or stay at a nice hotel from the outside, if that's all you require is just somebody who can provide you finances, then you can see he may be your husband material. But you have no idea about his nurturing ability. You know, you have no idea about his decision making process, no idea about his planning process. But all you see is the exterior, the superficial, and you say that's husband material. Just because he can pay some bills doesn't make him a husband. Just because he can go on some trips doesn't make him a husband. Just because, just because he can go to restaurants and vacations and, you know, has a nice car doesn't make him a husband. It just makes some, someone who's financially stable. That's it. You don't know if he's an abuser mentally or physically because you haven't seen that portion of him. And now you're just simply basing your decision on his finances. Just like a man who is with a woman and all he knows is that she looks good and that she got some good poom poom. You just know the superficial about that woman. How will she take care of you when you're sick? How will she re react when you're just walking down the street and another beautiful woman walk by? He ain't blind, he's going to notice, but are you going to turn into some jealous person? When you have a, dis a disagreement, how does that work out? If there is a blended family situation, how does that work out when the children are acting opposing towards that man how is that handled if he's not present to be a part of that you have no idea how he's going to act she has no you have no idea how she's going to act so unless you're going through the tryouts unless you are taking the time to act like a husband to act like a wife with this person you have no idea what they're going to be and then you decide on superficial things that i'm going to marry this person and you get into the relationship and you find out that they're controlling you find out that they're jealous you find out that they're selfish you find out that they're violent you find all these things out after you get married and then you get a divorce then you have to go through all the government processes of separating finances because you never knew who the hell you was marrying in the first place you married a representative. You married a superficial person. You married somebody that you barely knew. You may have thought you knew him because you only saw him in the good times. You only saw him on the dates. You only saw him, you know, when things were great. You didn't spend that quality time to see what happens when either one of you are unwell, either physically or mentally. 
You didn't see that time frame when emergencies happened and how that person handled it. You saw none of that. And so when you get married, now all these things change. All these things are now being presented. And now you get to see the real person. And then you get a divorce. Because you didn't like that real person. You like that superficial person. And if that's who you are, then just date. Just date. You meet a person and say, hey, I'm, I'm only here for the dating. I'm not here for anything else. I don't want a, a deep relationship. I don't want to combine households, households. I don't want to combine children. I don't want to combine, you know, the, the bad times. I, I go through the bad times by my damn self. But when that happens, don't look for anybody to bail you out. Because you're only there for the good times. So, y'all need to in my opinion show a person who you're going to be at all times who you're going to be in their future life in their deep life not the superficial bullshit I would never marry a woman that I didn't get to see what she would be like as a wife and it doesn't always work out perfectly even in that but you still want to get as much information as you possibly can before you decide to marry somebody so what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Comment, share, like, subscribe. And always remember, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.